Hello everyone and welcome to my educational video on how to take all of your clients' home or business address and we're going to put them in a way where you can send them all postcards or letters. So for what we have today is we have a very lovely postcard and we're going to put the address, uh, name, address, and that's it, name and address right here in this section. So what you want to do is you go ahead and have your addresses lined up in Excel and you want the first line to be the template so you have your first name, last name, address, address to, city, state, and zip. If you want to add another column you can do so but that's what I have so far. So I already have my names all put in and what's very good about this is you don't have to manually put in so each one is a different name as you can see there's a different number so let's go ahead and open up Word. So first off, you want to change it to your postcard size. A majority of the postcards are eight and a half by five and a half. So you go to File, Page Setup. Okay, and now you go to you click Paper Size and Manage Custom Sizes. This screen will show up. You want to click the plus button and rename it to whatever you want. And then now you change it to eight and a half by five point five, and then you click change that to point two five. Then you click OK. Then you click OK, and now we're on the uh, postcard size paper. So also our uh, printer at the office does do. Um, thicker paper like this, so you can also print it in the Xerox copiers in our office. Just ask me if you want to change the paper to postcard, because if you just put it in and you click OK, you need to make sure you change it to postcard, or it will smear across your postcard because it thinks it's regular paper. Okay, so next you want to find, you, I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. We need a ruler. And you, ought, you have to have the ruler set up for this. So what we're going to do is take our ruler. So we're going to open this up. So you, you want to take a ruler yourself. If you have your postcard with you, you want to take your ruler and see how big your postcard is. Let's just, for example, say that this postcard, we want it to go up to the 4 inch. Let's say from here to here is 4 inches. So we don't want to print in that area. All right. So we only want to print in this area. And let's say you don't want to go off the edge, so you obviously want to take, don't want to print in that area. And then also you don't want to print on the bottom of your postcard. So you really only want to print in this area. So this is four inch. And this is four inch and this is one inch. So, or you actually want to go from the bottom, from the top to the bottom and left to the right. So let's go ahead and do that now. So, uh, like I said, this, oh wait, wrong one. You want to take this bottom tab that's a square looking thing and you pull it over to four inches. Okay, now that that's done, this is already set up so you don't go off your paper, so that should be fine. And next, you want to put the, do, 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 you want to change the spacing. So you want to change it to single space. And then you open up line options and make sure that these are both on zero. Because if it's not, it'll give a weird spacing. So before and after should both be on zero. Okay, next, you just press enter until you get down to the, Let's see, how far do we want to go down? One, two, three. So we're going to go down to the three inch line. Oh God. That's right. right. Okay, so here's where we want to go to mailings. Uh, start mail merge, and you click direct directory, and then you select your recipients, and then you choose an existing list 
and then you go to desktop and then you open up your list that you created. Yes, 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 yes. This is the part where it just, I don't know why it does this on my Mac. Let's just ignore that. Okay. The spreadsheet, we'll just open up the spreadsheet. There we go. Okay, now that we have our recipients, we want to make our fields. Always allow. So you want to go to insert merge fields. You want to put, since we're going to look at our data sheet, it pulls it off your data sheet. So when you click insert fields, it, it pulls your first thing. So if you wanted to put uh, last name, its last name would be up here, but it would pull, if you named this last name, and you click last name here, it would pull the last name field. So it would pull this field first. So it just depends on how you want to word this and which order you want to put it in. Okay, so what we're going to do is insert first name, and we're going to put a space, and insert last name. Okay, so this, I don't know why that slid over. Let's put that back at four. Okay. Okay. So now that that's there. Then pain. Stop. Okay. In the end, you still want it right here. So you got your first name and last name. And then you can type to or. resident. Oh. Okay, now you want to do your first address line, so insert field address one. Okay, now that will pull from this list and then you press enter because you want to put the second address below it and then address line two and then there's address line two and then what you want to do, since it's a postal, you want to put city, no, city, state, zip. And then you want to put a space between that. And between city and uh, state, you want to put a comma. So let's just zoom this in a little bit so you can see it better. So you want to put a little comma right here. So you have your first name. I don't know why there's a space. Oh, my God. There we go. You have your first name, last name, or current resident, address one, address two, city, state, and zip. So you can preview your results here. So see how it automatically filled it in. So what's really good about this is when it automatically fills it in, you don't have to spend hours punching in each address. So you can do this for it. See how it automatically updates the recipient. As we're scrolling through here, you can see the different things. And what also what happens, let's say they don't have an address line too. It automatically takes the space out of it. Oh, let's go back. Because I only removed in the first like 30. All right, see now this person doesn't have an address line too. So it automatically pulls it up. So you don't have to have that weird space in between the address. Okay, and now all you have to do is you click finish and merge oh man I forgot to do one thing before you do that you have one thing you want to go down here and you want to you want to press enter and right before you get to the last line you want to click insert and page break this allows it so it doesn't, when you put a page break there, it doesn't want to 
add something to the same page. So when we go to mailings and then finish and merge and edit individuals, they will all have that page break. No, I'll have that. Mm. I don't know why it's doing that. One second. Here, there's one. Do do do. Yep, there we go. So now they're all even. So when you insert that page break, make sure you delete that second page because it will pull it over into your final document. So now you all you have to do is print this. So when you print it on the card, let me close all of this. So here's your card. And now that you have your card, it will print right in that section of your card. So now that we have it over four inches, so this is the four inch line, and this is where the address will be. And the address, uh, when there's an empty space, so let's say you have an address line too, and it doesn't fill in, it automatically pulls it up. So your top where your name is that's really where you want it because it, it automatically fills in going down it doesn't fill in going up it fills in going down all right so if you have any questions feel free to come and ask me um, but okay so have a good day bye